I basically live in ballet flats and I tend to always go for black, so I'm really excited to switch things up with a bit of gold. First, you'll need to find a pair of flats or any other shoes that you want to use this technique on. I got these on sale from Target. You'll also need painter's tape. Regular masking tape won't cut it because we really need to create clean lines. The last thing you'll need is metallic spray paint. Start by placing tape on the toe. How far up or down you place it is personal preference. I'm using these stitches right here as a guide so that it'll be easier to get the same placement on both shoes. Make sure to really press the tape down to seal off the part of the shoe that you don't want to paint. Really look closely for any gaps like this one. If you need to reposition the tape, do it. Line the shoes up to make sure that they're even. This step is optional, but I really didn't want to get any paint on the sole of the shoe, even though I don't think anyone will be looking that closely. So I cut thin pieces of tape and I place them around the edge of the toe. I also placed more tape on the back of the shoe to really protect anything that I don't want to turn gold. The final step before painting is to place a plastic bag over the rest of the shoe so that you're absolutely sure not to paint anything but the toe. And now you're ready to paint. Spray painting is the easy part. Just keep the spray can at least a foot away from the shoe. You don't want to paint up close to the surface because it's harder to get an even finish. I spray painted two coats of gold onto each shoe and then I went back with this clear sealer. You can think of this as the top coat that you would use to keep your nail polish on longer. I only waited about 15 minutes before removing the plastic bags and then I removed the tape. So here's the moment of truth. If I press the tape down securely, I should get really clean lines. And as you can see, I did a pretty good job protecting the shoe. This is what the toe looks like after the big reveal. Here's a close up from another angle. I'm very happy with the fact that I didn't get any paint on the sole of the shoe and I love the way these turned out. If you enjoyed this tutorial, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more DIY projects. Let me know what you want to see next in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.